Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today, we're back with a brand new game to the channel, and that game is Operas Build to Destroy. This game was created over the last two years by three students from Germany, Till, Johannes and Friedrich. It's a really great game. I already tried it on my stream on Twitch. You can find the link in the description down below. But today we're going to try it one more time, maybe a little bit better for YouTube. So let's just jump right into the campaign, start with the first level and let's get it done. And here we are with the first level and this is what this game looks like. We have this yellow type of cube right here on which we can build. Then we have whatever we need to destroy, which is usually a red blob here in the middle and it will nicely explode if we hit it. So let's see what we can do. We have available six ultra heavy cubes. And those cubes we can place, for example, right here. Once we place it, we can move our mouse around and we can actually place it all the way on the edge. Something like this. Then we can place one on top and plop it a little bit further. And we're going to do the same thing one more time. And just for good measure, because why wouldn't we one more time? We're going to use four of our six. And then we press go and see what happens. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the entire glory of the explosion. And let's go. The cubes fall over. Everything blows up, falls down, of course, with a beautiful, beautiful explosion. Isn't that something? Now we complete the level and see what we get. And let's see what we have destroyed. That is, of course, a full 100% in one move. So let's move on to the next level. And here we are in the next level. Let's take a look. We have new things to build with. We have still our ultra heavy cubes, two connectors and four heavy pillars. So let's take a heavy pillar and try to place this thing as centered as we can. Probably somewhere right here looks to be centered. I don't think that this here is centered to this here necessarily. So we need to go a little bit offset to the left and then place it as far forward as you can. Yeah, something like this here. Then a connector on top. Make sure that everything is nice and connected. Then another pillar. Something like this here. And another connector all the way forward. And another pillar for good measure. There we go. And our ultra heavy cubes. I'm just going to plop one on the left and on the right on each one of our two connectors, trying to give us a little bit extra range. That should work. So let's go this way around, maybe. And let's make this thing fall and let's see what happens. And we are just smashing through it like it's nothing. That is a lot of destruction, a lot of mayhem. And that's what we want to see. A little bit is still standing, though. Let's see how much. And we are up all the way to 86%. That is a little bit lower than I would have hoped for, but it will certainly get the job done. On to the next level. And here we are in the next level. We have a building platform right here. And if we look very closely, we have another one down here on the bottom. So once we destroy this here, we can go for a second move and actually build more stuff right here to destroy that. But the question is, is that actually necessary? So let's get started with a heavy pillar. And we're just going to center it. Let's move the camera over a little bit and let's move it all the way forward. And let's see how high can we build this thing here. That is the real question to me. We're just going to come in and we're going to build as far forward and as far up as we humanly can with everything we have. Let's see what that looks like when we are done with it. I have no idea if this is actually going to work on the stream. I believe I used two moves for this one here. But can we get away with one? Only one way to find out. We are actually coming really high. That's a lot higher than I expected, as a matter of fact. Instead of going higher, I think I'm going to put the heavy beam here on front. Yeah, something like this here. Let's, with a little bit of luck, this here will hit right there in the center. Let's see if that works out as I expected. Let's go. We're falling. So far, so good. We are crashing through that piece. And right here, are we short? We are short. But it's still destroyed it. It still blew up everything. I think we're doing all right. I think that's fine. Let's complete it and let's see. Did we destroy everything? Yes, we did. And how much destruction have we caused? 96%. <laughs> ah, a little bit of destruction never hurts. On to the next level. Okay, we have a platform in the middle and we have three of the red spheres all around. We do have a new piece of equipment though, a rotator. That's going to be interesting. I believe that the rotator also has uh, connector abilities, so it will not move if I plop it here. And I go, for example, something like this here. And then a connector. 
and then something like this here, it will not fall over. Only problem is that this is, of course, nowhere near far enough. I need to get rid of this one here and I need to come all the way out as far as I can. Another connector and another heavy beam. And for all I care, another connector and the ultra heavy cube. I don't think it's really necessary to have all that stuff on there, but there's no penalty for putting more stuff on this than needed. Let's go. Let's see. It's not falling. And let's turn on the rotator and it should just smash through this here like it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, God, I love destruction way too much for being an engineer. Not going to lie. Can't have enough of it. Let's complete it and let's see what we've got. And here our number comes up and we are at 94% in one move. That is just great. Let's move to the next level. Okay, here we are. We have one red sphere on the top and some sort of bridge. And let's see, we have uh, bombs, connectors and heavy beams. So what it looks like is we need to build all the way up here and then blow up those two support structures right here. So let's get what, around with the camera and let's zoom in a tiny little bit. We should start with a connector because without a connector, it's just going to fall on a heavy beam, not a connector, not a heavy beam, not a connector. And then the heavy beam can be rotated like this. And I'm going to plop one right here. I'm going to plop one right there. Give it another connector on each side just for good measure. Another heavy beam and another heavy beam on this side right here. And then we're going to plop a bomb on each end. Could be that simple, I believe. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. And if I press one or two or with the mouse button, click on each one, I can blow him up. So let's go. That was a beautiful simultaneous explosion. The bridge comes down. And our structure even withstands the freaking explosion and the falling down of the entire bridge. It's a little bit wonky. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not intended, but I love it nonetheless. <laughs> All right, let's complete it. And let's see what we get out of this thing. 97%. There is nothing to complain here. On to the next one. And here we are. Let's take a look. We have our platform over here on the side and we have our two explosive spheres down here. I don't know if there are any more further back that may well be. I'm not entirely sure. But let's see what we got. We have another rotator counterclockwise, one bomb, four connectors and three heavy pillars over here on the left. We should probably start with a rotator and we can probably plop it just over here somewhere that should be fine. And it's rotating the right direction, almost like the developers wanted us to do it this way. Isn't that something? And then we should probably come here and build as high as we can our first pillar. That seems sensible. And another connector up top. And now I'm wondering if I build a pillar all the way over here and all the way over here, will a bomb fit in the middle? The answer is clearly no. Okay, that's not going to fly. But what will fly is to put another pillar on top, another connector, another pillar, another connector, and a bomb. Now that we have this here, all we have to do is press go. And then we're going to start rotating. It's going to go really fast. We just got to get it into the right position wherever we want it. Let's see a little bit more roughly right there and let's blow it. And that should give us really close to 100%. I would hope. <laughs> let's see. And we are ending up at 85%. That is a lot less than I hoped for. We're going to try this one more time. I'm going to leave the setup as it is, but I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to go full force and we're going to blow it right now. There we go. <laughs> That shouldn't be a hell of a lot standing. Let's see. What did we have? 85. And now we're at 90 in the red in the expert zone, just as we want that to be. On to the next level. Okay, so what do we have here? We have some sort of cannon that will activate once we destroy this little piece right here. But we have our wall right there. And behind the wall, we have another one. And I am not entirely sure if this will pierce through it. So what we are going to try to do is, let's see. We are going to build a heavy pillar right here on the front. Then a connector on top as far forward as we can, as usual. Then another heavy pillar, just because it's still not going to be enough, though. We need another connector all the way forward. And then another heavy pillar on top of that. And if we throw that forward, 
It should take down this wall, I hope. What we need here in the back is, though, another one of these. Then the beam. And then the bomb. This here will definitely blow up this piece right here and activate then our cannon. But can we go higher over here if I build another connector? And then the heavy beam as far forward as I can. That should cause even more destruction, I would hope. It is a little bit lower than I would hope, so we're going to put another connector on top of here. As a matter of fact, I can't even plop a bomb on here. Let's see if we can do that. This here should be bomb one, this here should be bomb two. So right when we start falling, we're going to blow up this bomb. Yep, we're going to fall through the wall, causing lots of destruction. And then we're going to blow up the other bomb. And we fire. And unfortunately, I was not far enough soon out. Uh, let's try this one more time. Don't care about the number. We're going to see the number here in a second. We're going to zoom all the way out so we can actually see the beauty of this construction. Or better to say that destruction. So, once again, it's just holding on there. As a matter of fact, it doesn't have enough weight to actually punch through the wall. So, let's blow up this bomb. Blow it to bits and pieces. Wait until it all falls so we have a free shooting range. There it is. And then let's blow the other one. And here we go. Beautiful explosion in the back, blowing up everything. That is just great. So let's complete it and let's see what we got out of this. And that's an 87% again in the expert level. I really can't complain about that. On to the next one. And here we are in the next level. Over here we have our four red explosive spheres. And here on the left we have basically already a template of what this should look like that is nice of him actually too there's another one over here so we are literally just gonna mimic this one by one why wouldn't we if it's already here why reinvent the wheel so let's build us one of those a heavy pillar on top then our horizontal hinge all the way up as high as we can go and then with the heavy beam we're just gonna connect it right here onto the heavy hinge then a connector on each side one on the front and one on the back can get one on there of course we can then a heavy beam on the back and a heavy beam on the front and then two connectors one two our ultra heavy cubes one here one there and one there and then we just gotta plop down the bomb somewhere around here from the looks of it yes and let's see if this actually works and go no it does not it does not work oh no I also didn't build it straight. What the hell happened here? I was too far away. So revert it. Back to the start. And let's see if we can build this here a little bit nicer. Which one did I build wrong? The backside, of course. What else? So, connector. Put it on straight. Heavy beam. And the bomb. Let's put it one piece further forward. And then let's zoom out all the way so we can actually see what's happening here. And let's see what happens. Let's go. Can we go far enough with our bomb? Our bomb is coming. We just need to see where it lands, and that is not as far as I would hoped. But it's still gonna blow up everything, it looks like. I don't see a lot of red explosions, though. Is that gonna be a problem? Let's clear it and let's see. Nope, they're exploding now. Perfect. And let's see how much we got out of it. We are at 99%. Yeah, you won't hear any complaints from me about that. On to the next one. And here we are in level 2-1 rocket. You saw it right here on the bottom, which means we completed the first world. I am going to complete this one level here on world 2, and then next time around we're going to finish up this world. But what do we have here? We have a thruster, three connectors, a heavy beam, and a heavy pillar. Okay, that is interesting. So what if we build a connector with a heavy pillar, something like this here, and then literally just slap on one of these here, one of those pillars, or better to say one of those beams, and put a thruster on the back. What is the flyability of this? Let's see. Go, and number oh, and it falls off. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, let's clear it. Let's try this again. Let's revert. And instead of putting it so far back, maybe we should plop it a little bit further forward. It's going to be hard to balance it, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to press go and then immediately fire the thruster. So let's get the camera into a good angle. Let's go and full thrust ahead. Oh, it blew through everything. It blew through everything. Come on, fall over. Very first tower right there. There's no way that you can keep standing. 
There we go. Get down into the abyss. That's what we want to see. Ah, it's a beauty. Let's clear it and let's see what we got. And we are back up all the way to 94% with one move. So let's head back to the menu and take a quick look into our campaign overview. In the intro, we got a full 100. In World 1, we came out with 86%, 96%, 94%, 97%, 90%, 87%, 99%. .99%. And then in the first level of World 2, we got a whooping 94% once again. Every one of those levels completed in expert mode, except this one here. And that bothers me a little bit. How about we try this one here as a little bonus and then we call it a day when we reach expert. Let's do it. And here we are back in level one of world one. We need to get it red. So let's see what we can do. I think instead of building one big one, we should probably go a slightly different route. How about we build something like this here? I need to make sure it falls straight. That's important. We're going to plop this one on here and then a connector on top as far forward as we can and then another heavy pillar on top of that yeah something like this here then an ultra heavy cube over here and over there that should do i'm gonna plop let's see just for right now another connector on here so i have a little bit to gauge but what i want to do is i want to build another heavy pillar roughly around here a little bit further to the right i want to get two heavy cubes on here something like this here there we go then a connector right there and then another heavy pillar so we're gonna build two shorter ones instead of one long boy and we're gonna plop one here and one right there to give it a little bit more weight and therefore a little bit more speed and therefore a little bit more force let's go and let's see if my theory is right you're looking good we're coming in hard crashing down it's falling straight down come on explosion the other one blow up yeah that should have caused a lot of destruction that looks a lot more destroyed than earlier. Let's complete it and let's see what happens. And we are all the way up to 97%. Now, that looks a hell of a lot better. Just to make sure, everything's beautiful and red all the way down to world one, level one. And that is the end of the video because all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment down below. What do you think about operas and maybe even leave a few friendly words for Till, Johannes and Friedrich, the three students who created this game. And with that, I say thank you and peace.